Hey everyone, welcome to the third annual Easy Way Awards Golden Gala Tap Interviews Behind the Scenes Show. I'm here today with the winner of Affiliate of the Year, Mr. Tony Taylor. Tony, welcome to the show. Yes, thank you, thank you. Wow, so happy. And um, thank you so much, Matt. I, I, you know, we had a lot of um, going back and forth, but I'm glad that we finally, uh, we're, 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 we're together now and it worked out through the trials and tribulations. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And thank absolutely. you, Eric Dooley. Thank you. Woo! Yes, absolutely. And can you uh, tell us how does it feel to win Affiliate of the Year? It's amazing. It's, it's, it's so encouraging and it's so refreshing and such a joy. Um, you know, I'm not new at this and I'm new with the new title Affiliate of the Year. But I'm not new in terms of winning awards because I have won several awards throughout the years, uh, nationally and internationally. And um, so when Eric had nominated me for this, uh, actually, I was, to be honest with you, I was nominated two times. But then they realized, they didn't realize that they, I was nominated twice. I was nominated also for Rising Star of the Year as well as for affiliate of the year and uh so we, as we was going through the process i was like wait a minute um i got two nominations and then um they brought it to my attention oh no you only supposed to have one <laughs> 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 and, and so what i did what i did was i had to i had to make a decision i had to make a decision i'm like now which one am i gonna which one should i go for since i i can only do one so then I prayed about it. I prayed about it and I was like, um, because there was other people that I had nominated, you know, after Eric brought me in to be on staff with the um the inner circle to make decisions and appoint a nominees and so forth. So then I had already rendered out the nominations for Rising Star for like three people, three or four people. I was like, no, 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 I can't put myself in that same category. So I said, Eric, I'm going to do, and I let James know, I'm going to do, instead of Rising Star, I'm going to do, uh, I want to do um, Affiliate of the Year. And uh, I'm so glad I did. <laughs> Absolutely. Congratulations for winning. Uh, now I just want to give you the screen, uh, and I want you to tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do, okay? Okay, sure. Yeah, so um, uh, there's a lot of things that I do, um, as everybody uh, for those that have been watching me throughout the years since I've been on uh, social media, since I've been in the entertainment industry um, and uh, doing so many things around the world, traveling. Um, yeah, so there's a lot of things that I do. But for the people that don't know, as far as me being maybe a new face or somebody that don't know me, I am Tony Taylor from New York City. I was born and raised here in New York City. and um, Actually, uh, I was previously a United States Postal Service worker. I was working for the government uh, over 32 years. And um, so before that, I was doing some other previous jobs. Uh, but as of last April, uh, I retired from the United States Postal Service. And uh, but during the time as I was doing my career uh, back in my early years, you know, I always wanted to be an actor. I always saw myself wanted to be an actor, wanted to be on television and do various things. And uh, so I pursued that. I pursued my career, my dreams, I should say. Um, when I was about 17 years old, I said, let me go for this acting thing. Now, I didn't have people in my family. I didn't have people uh, friends or anybody to encourage me to go in this direction or to 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 steer me and to counsel me and to give me some uh, uh, instructions or some ideas what to do regarding me going in this direction. I didn't have that. So sometimes people, they have maybe an uncle or a cousin or maybe a brother or maybe uh, a friend that's in the industry. And so they can easily get help 
and get people to help them to get in the industry and show them the shortcuts. Uh, you know, or I should say help them along the way. That way they can take the quicker route rather than learning the slow route. So I was one of those that learned the slow way because I had nobody to help me. So I pursued my dream to go to uh, seek out about being an actor. So that's what happened. I started out as an actor. Um, I was trying for it and I was about 17 years old and I was going to the uh, casting call or the auditions, the orientations where they were asking people that want to be actors, you know, if you want to be an actor, come down to the meeting, you know, come to the orientation. So now, now meanwhile, this is when I was like 17, 18 years old, right? So basically what happened was I was dreaming very, very strong when I was younger at that time. So I went to the, I went to the gathering. I went there. I was excited about it. And uh, they were telling us what we're going to be doing. And, you know, as we go through the process, you know, we're going to be able to be in television, be in movies, be in commercials. And uh, so I was very excited about it. Like I was about 17 years old. And then um, I pursued to go back again because they wanted us to come back again. OK, we need you to come back for next for next week. We need you to come back and uh, we're going to need um, uh, four hundred and ninety nine dollars. And I was like, OK, all right. And they said, we're going to set you up. We need the four hundred ninety nine dollars to set you up so we can put you in our website and we can do this and do that and do that. Make a long story short. Uh, they were just they were just selling dreams, you know, they were just selling dreams. Um, and what happened was when I went back another time, they were asking for more money. So then that's when I realized red flag, something's not right. And I got very discouraged. I got very disappointed and I lost my vision. I lost my dream to, to move forward to be an actor. And I was before I was 20 years old. So then I just totally put that dream to the side, put it on the back shelf. I was discouraged. I was just I was depressed about it. What had happened? I gave money away and nothing happened. You know, I got burnt. You know, I got burnt along the way. But I said all that to say to say this, that I am a late bloomer because I got back in the game. When I was about in my middle 30s, I got back in the game again and I said, you know what? Um, I had some inherited money. Thank God for my mother and father. I had some inherited money in the back in the bank and stuff. And I was like, I'm not going to blow all this money. Let me put some of this money into me. Let me invest in me. So then I went to acting school because I felt that stirring up to go back and do it again. And I realized. I can use coaching, I can use teaching, I can use training, and that's what I did. I invested in myself, went to acting school, breaking into Hollywood Acting Studios in 2010, and then I graduated in 2011, and then from there, I, I got showcased, and I was able to go to, uh, you know, I was able to apply what I learned in acting school. I was able to apply it on set, being on set for Law and Order, Blue Bloods, the following, you know, I had that uh, great opportunity to be on set and play as a police officer, a law officer, correction officer, detective, uh, Red Cross worker. <laughs> and, and I was doing background work, but it was exciting because I had the chance to operate and to exercise my skills, what I had learned in acting school. And so from there, I felt more hungry. I was like, you know what? I don't want to just be an actor. Let me do modeling i'm a good looking guy at least i thought i was and uh, <laughs> i said let me go for act let me go for modeling and there you go again i didn't know what to do i didn't know where to go i just prayed again and i was like let me go in this direction and i end up going to a fashion show in new jersey i never forget this i said let me go if i want to be a model let me go to a fashion show and be around the models so that's what happened. I just went out my way to go to a fashion show, go to a model. I mean, to go to to, to see a mo the models in action. And I, when I went there, I was enjoying the show and I was like, you know, eating it all up. I was like, and just enjoying it, 
seeing the fashion, seeing the males and females. And then afterwards I was hanging out and there was a lady that I didn't know that she was gonna be the one that was gonna be the helper and the answer to my prayer. She was there taking pictures and she was just taking pictures and talking to different models. So I just felt within myself, I just felt a pulling to her. And I just went up to her, I said, excuse me, um, my name is Tony Taylor, you know, I, you know, I really want to be a model. I was sharing with her my desire, how I want to get into modeling. I was like, um, uh, you know, can, can, what, what can I do? Or can we work together or something? I, you know, and come to find out she was a coach. So things worked out that I was able to make an appointment with her and she said, I'll help you. And we met in New Jersey. I think it was Orange, New Jersey or East Orange, New Jersey and or Newark. So we met in New Jersey. I went there and then she began to school me and to coach me and to counsel me how to be a model, how to face the, the camera, what to do and what not to do and how to be myself and be creative. And from there, I just was so excited and things just began to go and bloom um, from, from being on TV and going into modeling. And then I got also my first movie shoot where I did my first speaking role, Love Like This, is on YouTube right now. It's a movie called Love Like This. I got my first breakthrough playing detective. Don't I look like a detective? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so I got my first role playing Detective Jensen on the movie titled Love Like This by Neva Braun. Uh, ne ne Navon Brown, I should say. Navon Brown, he's located in, um, uh, it's near, it's near uh, Philadelphia, actually, it's uh, Camden, New Jersey. So I went all the way out of New York. Now I thought my big break was gonna happen in New York City, but it didn't happen that way. My big break, I had to go out of New York City to go to the uh, audition for this movie. And um, I would, that's how hungry I was. Some, you know, people, you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta, I, I'll put it this way. When you want to go for your dreams and you want to do different things, how bad do you want it? How far are you going to go out to make it happen? I was like, it's not because I tried in New York City. I was sitting my resumes, my, my headshots, my bios. I was mailing them out and I was not getting no response. I said, this is crazy because I just knew because I graduated from breaking into Hollywood, breaking into Hollywood Actors Studios in Manhattan, New York City. And I lived in New York City. I was like, this is my home. I'm going to blow up in New York City. And I heard that they were doing video, uh, they were doing filming and television shoots in New York City, but it didn't happen that way. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just have to go out of side of New York City and go. And I did. I went out there and it worked out so beautiful. I got to the audition. Now this was my very first audition to do a speaking role. Walked in the room. Now in acting school, they told us when you go to the room, own it, be yourself, and own the moment. So when my time came up, there was other people doing their other auditions for their roles. So when my time came up, uh, I first got there, I had to sign in, and they gave me the script so I can look over the lines and be ready. They said, okay, Tony, come on up. So then I got up there, and I was a little nervous. I was a little nervous, but overall, I had butterflies in my stomach. <laughs> And overall, I pulled it off, not knowing that they loved it until afterwards. They said, oh man, Tony, you rocked it. You got the part, man, you played it, You, we want you. And I was so excited. So from that point, you know, so I was already doing acting, already uh, starting the modeling, and then eventually other opportunities came up where I was able to be involved with New York Fashion Week. And um, then some other opportunities came up where I had the opportunity just based on a fun idea, a good friend of mine from Canada, because I'm also a Red Cup and host. So, and I also do uh, publicity work, uh, TV anchorman work. I will also do that. I was working with a company with a nonprofit organization. So, but it, the way that happened, that started just with a fun idea. His aunt is a princess. So he said, Tony, let's do a Let's create a, just for fun, let's create a news anchor team just to surprise her and see what happened. So we, he gave me a script. I was on my way in California. I said, you know what? Send me the script while I was in California because I had a movie shoot in California. 
So when I had some time off, I took time off and looked at the script while I was in California, studied the lines, put my phone up, did a selfie audition on the lines, sent it back to him. I had to do a, a couple of takes because the first take was so good, but then the daylight was, I was losing the daylight, so it was perfect, but the lighting was off. So you know about that. The light is not right, you can't use it. So I had to do it all over again because she didn't, she loved it, but the, the lighting was off. So I did it again, she accepted, and then from there I became her TV publicity uh, anchorman and I was doing red, I, mean, I was doing uh, publicity work, doing videos about her as she traveled around the world and uh, doing different things, helping humanity. You know, I sent many, many uh, videos to her. She loved it. So the news anchor team started from there. And I did that for about two years. And then she said, well, Tony, I love what you're doing. I want to promote you. I want to bring you on the red carpet. I want you to. I want you to meet dignitaries and philanthropists and the royal families. And you, I want to put you on the red carpet so people can really see you and know you. So she promoted me and I did my first big red carpet event at the United Nations headquarters in New York City. And she loved it. The people loved it. I, I, I loved it as, as well. I was meeting people from various places around the world. Vice presidents, presidents, dignitaries, uh, royal families, meeting them, interviewing them at the United Nations. And then I did that for like two, uh, like another two, another year or so. And then from there, I just been growing and blooming and doing so many things. And then I started traveling outside of the United States as other opportunities over to me in India and, in, um, in France. Uh, in London, um, and and uh, 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 Bangkok, Thailand. Um, where else? Uh, yeah, there's other countries too. So I, I was able to branch out from being nationally known to be internationally known. Now, when I was doing the red carpet hosting, that really opened me up to the big level where where I became so well known that people you can google i didn't know this but because i was so busy and my name and my face was getting out there doing all the things that i did i did not know until people were telling me tony i googled you i was like what <laughs> <laughs> so i became google matic people can type my name in google and you'll see me yeah yeah awesome. so it's, been a, it's been an exciting journey uh so that's basically where i came from growing up uh, you know, as a young man, having dreams and passions. Uh, so I don't want to keep dwelling on that because I know you may have some other questions, you know, we're leading up to where we are now. Mm. Oh, yes. Man. Let's uh, go to a commercial real quick and then we'll be right back. All right. Close attention because this video is going to revolutionize your business. My name is Adam Chandler. Not too long ago, I decided that I was sick and tired of having to use expensive tools made by greedy tech companies. Not only were they costing me hundreds of dollars per month, but integrating all of them with one another was a technical nightmare. You'll get immediate access to the funnel builder tool, an email autoresponder and text message follow-up system, an appointment setting tool, Facebook and Instagram integration, a contact management system, an app for connecting with leads on the go, and a sales pipeline for moving your prospects through your sales process. You will love the digital co-pilot. And the best part, you can test drive the system for 14 days for just $10. It's a web-based system, so no installation is required. Plus there's a 100% money back guarantee. Hi there, this is Zandra Evans, founder and CEO of Zandra TV Network in Dallas, Texas. Now you know that I'm a small business advocate and I talk about leveling the playing field all the time for small business entrepreneurs. Why? Because we always seem to get left behind. Well, guess what? I've got something new for you and it's called Biztizement. It's an informational video directory where you can put your video about you, your business and your passion. Nobody can say it better than you. I want you to click the link in this message, find out more about Biztizement, and get on board. Where else can you get started for $99? So until I see you, continue to be the absolute best you. Peace. 
All right, Tony, we're uh, back. Yeah, yeah. So, woo! Yeah, that was it's great. Exciting. Yeah, yeah, that was great to hear about all about where, where you came from and what you're doing, and you're doing uh, a lot of things. That's great. And uh, how did you come across uh, Easy Way Network? Oh, yeah. Now, with, with Eric, with Eric, this goes back like about before the pandemic happened, about four years, five years ago, um, because I was invited to, I was working, I, yeah, I was invited to come out to California for a fashion show uh, with a fashion designer, Paulette Mouquet. She's from Paris. And um, so we have been doing some collaborating and meeting on, talking on Facebook uh, for some time. And uh, so she liked the work that I did and she invited me to be one of her ambassadors, her ambassadors. And uh, she invited me to come to Patty to be in her fashion show. Um, but what happened was she had got an invitation to come to California for a new, uh, what was it, Fashion on the Sea, Fashion on the Sea with uh, uh, event organizer, CEO Eugene Sidney. So she said, Tony, I'm coming to America. I was like, really? I was like, where are you going to be? She was like, I'm, I'm, I was uh, invited to be in California. I was like, whoa, you coming to California? Now, meanwhile, me and her had been talking on Facebook. Uh, we had never met in person. And I had been working with her, doing things online, helping to brand her and to promote her. And uh, so I was excited. I was like, wow, this is great. I'm going to be able to meet you. So that way, when I get ready to come to Patty, uh, I would feel so much more comfortable because I met you already prior. So she came to America and I went out to California and I participated in fashion on the sea. That was a wonderful, wonderful fashion show. I was uh, one of the uh, models there modeling on the yacht. And uh, so what happened was um, through that experience, I met a woman, uh, your majesty, Dr. Elham uh, Madani. I met her. And I started working with her along with my fashion designer from Patty. E. And I started working with her. And that's how I met uh, Eric. I met Eric through Your Majesty Elham Madani. Uh, she's not in California anymore right now. Uh, she moved to Canada. She's in, I think she's in Vancouver. So I started working with Dr. Your Majesty Elham, Dr. Elham Madani. I started working with her. She loved, she loved what I did working with her. And um, she awarded me, surprisingly, she awarded me in Hollywood. So when I got Hollywood awarded twice, two years in a row, that's where I met Eric Zuli. He was at the event doing Easy Way interviews. <laughs> <laughs> so when I first when I first saw him, I, I, you know, you know how you're looking around the crowd and you're looking around and you see different people. So when I first saw him, I zoomed into him. I was like, OK, what's this guy about? You know, because he came there with his, you know, with his cap on, looking very relaxed. And, um, you know, I realized he had a camera and he was like doing his thing. And so the first time I didn't really reach out to him. I just noticed that he was there. But then when I got my award the second time back to back in Hollywood, that's when I was able to when I went out and I felt let me talk to this guy. OK, so I reached out to him. I said, yeah, man, I like what you're doing. And um um, you know, um, maybe, uh, no, no, let, let me refresh myself. So after I saw him and I learned about him the first time, I didn't reach out to him personally there inquiring about us working together. If anything, we might've said hi together and that was basically it. But after I, when I came back to New York City and I realized the different things that he was doing about easy way and I was like, you know what? Maybe I should work with this guy. So what I did was I reached out to him on social media and we, that's when we started getting intimate in terms of talking in detail. And I began to learn more about him. And uh, so he invited me to work with him after I asked him about it. But then when he started telling me about Easy Way and this and that and that, I was like, well, OK, well, maybe down the road, maybe down the road. I'll let you know when I'm ready. I wish I had got on board back then. Now, that was before the pandemic. So after the pandemic, I met him. Uh, or, or just before the pandemic, I met him again in Hollywood on the red carpet. So when I met him in Hollywood on the red carpet, that's when we actually started talking and stuff and uh, face to face. And then he interviewed me on the red carpet. So from there, I was like, yeah, man, maybe we, we, could, we could do something together. You know, maybe we could do something together like while, while I'm in New York City or whatever. 
So that's how we get made the connections and we started talking from there. He invited me, he gave me a phone call. And uh, the first time we called, I didn't, I, I, like I said, I didn't jump on board when we were talking. I was like, well, maybe down the road, uh, I'll think about it. So then he reached out to me again, not long ago, like about, about three months ago. And I finally said, yes, I'm gonna come on board. So I finally got serious about it. And he was like, man, you let me down because I reached out to you before and you didn't come on board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so right. once I got on once I got on board with him this time, like about three months ago, he began to tell me, he said, listen, you push easy way. I love what you do. You travel the world. I love how you do videos, how you do promoting. And I invite you to come work with me. I promise you, you work with me. You push easy way. I'm going to push you. Awesome. Said, All you just continue to do what you're doing and promote Easy Way. You know, as you travel the world, talk about Easy Way. And not only did I do um, what he wanted me to do when we when I finally took it serious about three months, four months ago, I went beyond. I went beyond what he expected of me. I started sending people his way because I'm a master connector as well. I started sending people his way, connecting him with, you know, some other people. And uh, he was like, oh, man, Tony, I love this. I love what you're doing. Keep it going. He was, and then he said, like, man, I got to award you. I got to award you. Uh, I got to put you in my magazine. Uh, I, I, I want to bring you into my inner circle. I mean, just like one thing after another just kept happening. Oh, oh, Tony, I, I want to nominate you. Affiliate of the year. So here we go. <laughs> uh, that's great, Tony. That's a great story. So you're having fun doing it the easy way. Well, uh, it's come to that time in the show now where I get to thank the sponsors. And of course, uh, easywaynetwork.com is how you can get started with Easy Way. Uh, also, you can see the other sponsors down the bottom, including Zondra TV, Hulu, Roku, etc. And you can see them all there on the bottom. So it's been wonderful today, Tony. Uh, you know, I wanted to keep it around 30 minutes. So you've told us all about where you came from. You told us how you, you met Eric. Uh, that's fantastic. We can all we can also do another interview at some stage. Uh, is there any final words that you'd like to add before we leave? Yeah, I want to say that um, there's other things that I do. And one other thing, which is a major accomplishment, I want everyone to know that don't know, I'm also an author. Now, I never imagined in my life that I would ever write a book. Check it out on Amazon. It's titled Thriving, Surviving, and Succeeding. It's going to bless you immensely. I had COVID twice. So as I shared, as I traveled around the world, I had got to a point where I had to be quarantined. I couldn't travel around the world and uh, go to work anymore at the post office. I had to be still be quarantined, and through that process, I had to fight for my health, fight for my life. So the title fits very perfectly, thriving, surviving, and succeeding. And I wanna add that now I am soaring because I overcame the COVID. And the book is not just talking about my struggle and what I went through emotionally, physically, spiritually, but it's also talking about my background, my history, my accomplishments, and even up to now, as I won with Easy Way and other great pictures and stories and great revelations and scriptural, uh, spiritual, um, uh, deep insights that I got. Because when I was fighting for my life, I was doing a lot of praying, reading the Bible. And so you will be blessed. Go to Amazon and type in thriving, surviving and succeeding. And you will be blessed to see the great views and to get the book especially. So follow me on my social medias. Uh, follow me on Easy Way Hall of Fame. Follow me on um, uh, Instagram, Tony.Taylor37. You can follow me on LinkedIn, Stage32. And also you can find out more about me through Matt and Eric Zulin. Woo! Thank you awesome. so much. And yes, uh, yeah, Wall of Famous. Go to our Wall of Fame on the easywaywall.com. Look up Tony Taylor, Matt J. Doyle, and Eric Zuli to find out more about us. Thank you so much for coming on the show today, Tony. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Eric. I just want to go to uh, the Easy Way back in the day, and then I'll play a couple of things, and then I'll see you when we're uh, on the other side. <laughs> Thank you.
Johnny, you're on. Way train, create your own free Easy Way wall profile, connect with the best and network your way to success, get your own commercial and consistently be promoted on Roku, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Google Play, Apple Store, Watch Free TV, Zonda TV, Voice America, iHeart Blog Talk Radio, Spotify Worldwide TV, Android TV, Samsung LG, and numerous other Roku channels. Enhance your Google rankings, give your brand awareness that turbo boost you need to close more deals the easy way. Contact us today, call 424 209 9290 or text EasyWay to 55678.